Hey, what's going on guys? So, um, I've done quite a few videos on the towing setup I have here with uh, my camper and my second gen Dodge Ram uh, 5.9 Cummins. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna give you uh, basically like a dash view, uh, what it's like accelerating, um, the speed that I feel is like probably the best to tow with in my setup, my current setup. Um, and with all the performance mods I have, which is not too many. But uh, yeah, so basically this is gonna be an overview showing you how it, how it drives the acceleration from just a, a standstill to get up to you know highway speed and pretty much what the gauges look like as far as um, towing this setup. Um, if you're not familiar with this setup, it's a 99 uh, Dodge Ram second gen, like I said, 24 valve, 5.9 Cummins. Uh, the camper is 37 feet, um, probably about 96 to 9,800 pounds uh, loaded up. And I'm about to take it on a two hour trip. So like I said, I'll show you updates on the dash as we're driving. All right, so we're pulling out of the gas station. Does. We got some cars coming. So going up a slight incline starting off. Nothing on this would be over half throttle. Temp gauge is a little bit warmer than normal, but it's very, very hot outside right now. It's like 102 degrees here in Texas. Like I said, this is half throttle. It's not a race. I don't ever treat it like it's a race and I don't ever try to dog this thing out. Um, my main thing is I want it to tow good and last a long time. So the ideal speed in this is typically 65. It seems like that's where the truck likes to be at towing this camper. So, as you see, like less than half throttle, the truck the truck doesn't struggle really. Um, we're also in hill country, so that's not exactly flat. As you can see, we're going up, a, going down a grade, about to go up a grade. Um, so not too bad. Truck handles it all well. Um, temp gauge will cool down once we get going steady. Uh, trans temp, it's a little higher right now. It's like 180. That's typically higher than I see, but like I said, it's so hot outside right now, and we're towing in the middle of the day. Um, Fuel pressure is the same. Like I said, I got a set, a set fast pump. So, so yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Zero to sixty, um, well, sixty-five ish. Um, toes well, handles good. Hope this helps. All right, so we're about an hour and a half into this trip, and going about. 65 right around there maybe just under it um it got even hotter outside so it's about 104 105 outside uh, temps like right above 190 trans temp right about 180 um, and both of those are pretty pretty good considering the heat out here and, and towing um, i'd be worried if it was a little higher like you know it always stays within the operating zone, but as I showed you, when you're like stopping and doing start, you know, zero to like whatever to get the highway speed, it will heat up a little bit. But once you get on the highway, it'll cool back down and uh, it'll, it'll stay there pretty much. Like I said, it's very hot temps I'm towing in. Um, I'm on the highway right now, still towing. Uh, like I said before, this truck, like 65, is about 
best the best speed I would say for the combination of towing and comfort. There are plenty of times um, where I'm going 70, 75, just depending on what's going on. Sometimes I have to pass people because they're going too slow, but I, I never try to do anything unsafe or anything like that. But like I said, uh, this this is about how it runs on the highway. Um, took this camper for man, 25,000 miles around there uh, with this truck. The modifications on here are real basic. Uh, so there's you know, the fast fuel pump, uh, AFP intake, uh, MRVP, MRP, whatever it is, exhaust, and uh, a couple gauges to monitor some things. And then uh, as far as towing the trailer, the only, the only part that's on here, uh, between it, of course, is the weight distribution hitch, and that's an E2. It's a, it's, it's a rather cheap weight distribution hitch, but it's worked very well. I haven't had a need to upgrade. I don't have to sway when people, when uh, semis go by, if they do go by. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I get a lot of questions about this towing setup and how it runs. Is, is it beating down the truck, or how's the truck handle it? Um, handles it just fine, um, as you can see. Um, it runs really well, no, uh, no issues, it's pretty smooth. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like most people, like, you can't tell it's back there because I definitely know it's back there, um, especially with the way other people drive, you know, no one cares that you're towing, so I have to pay attention the whole time. Yeah, so I do know it's there, but like I said, for the weight, you know, the truck combination, it's very good, uh, well within the limits, but uh, but also, it, it tows very well too, so that's that's definitely a plus. So, like I said, I hope this video helps. Um, I know a lot of people watch the other videos of me towing this, and uh, they get a lot of questions. I'm trying to answer them as I go, and you know, there's a couple upgrades I am going to make, and those are just very basic upgrades. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna go to a 35-inch tire. I'm at 33 right now, um, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna switch brake, brake controllers out. Other than that, I'm just going to keep doing the general maintenance I, I've been doing. Because like I said, the setup's worked really good. So, hope this helps. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll answer them as quick as I can. Um, usually pretty quick about answering them. So, like I said, any questions, just drop them below. 